With two trucks and a bus in tow, ESPN Game Day gets ready to produce the greatest show on earth, or at least on cable television. It is a traveling circus. We travel together. This is actually the same crew that does the college game day football. So we travel around for 14 weeks for that, and then we jump right into the basketball. There's only eight weeks of the basketball. ESPN arrived at the Donald L. Tucker Center two full days preparing for a two-hour broadcast. On game day, even wintry weather didn't stop Knoll fans from receiving a warm welcome with Dunkin' Donuts sponsored breakfast. We woke up at 6-ish and we looked at our phones and it was 24 degrees out. We stood outside for an hour. FSU's marketing team provided markers and poster boards for fans. They were also the masterminds behind a way to get into game day early. And it was all inspired by a sweet 70s movie. We went with the Garnet and Gold tickets as our uh, kind of campaign and reference to Willy Wonka and the Golden Ticket. Um, and that was about early entry into college game day, front row seats. So we marketed that on campus and then in the, in the, in the previous games as well to try to get them here early. Students were also treated to many other freebies from sponsors and even got a surprise from Digger Phelps, game day announcer and former Notre Dame men's basketball coach. Florida State has moments on this floor. Carolina and Duke don't win here. Bernard James double-double the other night. They can block shots. I think they're going after it. They smell it. This, to me, is an upset for Florida State to win this game. But Digger wasn't the only person scoring points with the students. Even the ESPN crew members got in on the action. We did a rehearsal uh, of the half-court shot today, and I had to stand in for the kid who would be shooting because part of the rules are they can't get a warm-up shot. And so I shot it and drilled it. And I'm running around high-fiving everybody and that sort of thing. And then they decided they wanted to show that during the show. Armed with signs, celebrity head cutouts, and these tomahawks, no fans are ready to be the sixth man in an epic battle against the North Carolina Tar Heels. And every battle needs a war cry. Bernard James' mother serenaded the crowd with her rendition of the Star Spangled Banner. The game started off with a bang. Within 43 seconds of the first half, Davidus Dual Keys fired off a three-pointer that sent fans into a frenzy. In the first half alone, Dual Keys put 16 points on the board. 75% of those from three-point range. With game day being here, the crowd was all set up for us, and it was crazy. You hit a couple shots, everybody was going, going insane. It, just, it was amazing, amazing feeling. As the game clock counted down, Seminole fans got up and out of their seats to inch closer to storm the court. At the last 14.2 seconds, Coach Leonard Hamilton is seen speaking with Tar Heel coach Roy Williams, advising him to send his players off the court. At the buzzer, Knowles from all corners of the Tucker Center charged the court to celebrate a 90-57 win over North Carolina. An ESPN College game day was able to capture the all-out basketball battle. With the Tar Heels defeated, the Knowles live to fight another day. I'm Jasmine Stiles for The Leonard Hamilton Show.